is Mrinal Kimji. I'm originally from India, but I would like to call myself a global citizen. I've had the opportunity to live in many countries across the globe. And as a lot of my peers also have experienced many, many things and in different genres of life, uh, I am in an industry where I'm not professionally taught. But as uh, Abraham Lincoln always said, don't ask what the country has done for you, ask what you have done for the country. And that's the passion that I have today. I'm going to bust a little bit of uh, your myths. All you guys are big guns in this industry. You all have multiple designers and stores and brands under you, where I'm somebody who is completely the opposite. I believe in craftsmanship and hand craftsmanship. I believe in handlooms that my country is very proud and one of the only countries in the world that has more than 36 different types of weaves. And I promote that in Muscat Oman and internationally and also in the GCC. My atelier is something which is not just an atelier, but my home. We did this in 2007, as uh, my friend already mentioned. We are unique in our own sense, is where we are the only atelier, I think, in the world that since the beginning of time has given the due credit and the spotlight to the artisans because they share the same space as us at the retail floor. And I am sure this is an experience that not many retailers can very proudly share. And this is something that we do because we are not here today without them. I'm gonna make this really short. I think all of you are very hungry and uh, you all have had a very, very long day. I can see all the smiles and the forks and the cutlery going clink, clink. But I would say, please do come visit Oman. It's a beautiful country. Come visit my atelier. It is something which is a very exceptional experience for you. I know we all talk about different technologies. We all talk about collaborations. We all talk about merging, expanding. These are the business key words that we all know. But as my colleague here already said, keep creativity and finance aside. I think it's time for us to take a step back. I think it's time for us to actually think, do we actually need six seasons or four seasons in fashion in an industry? Do we actually need the surplus? This is a question we have to ask ourselves, not for ourselves, but also for the next generation. I'm very sorry to inform that something that all of you know, but we are the largest polluters on this planet as a fashion industry. And this is a food for thought that we have. We need to think what we can do. It is not about constantly oversupplying to our end users. It's about supplying a better quality. So we might as well use our resources, produce a bit less, but produce top end quality. I think that is something that will last in the closet for a very long time. And it is something, if it's beautifully crafted, you can always hand it down in that generation. So I know probably this is not what you wanted to hear, but as I'm very privileged and I'm the only woman on this panel today, I would like to leave you with this food of thought. Have a wonderful evening and thank you for listening. Namaskar.